The latest tool in the fight against COVID-19 just may be found in what we flush down the toilet. A study by the Utah Division of Environmental Quality is tracking coronavirus hotspots using wastewater. This is an interesting study. Fox 13's John Franke joins us to explain how it works and why the results are so valuable. John. Yeah, guys, this study began in April. The DEQ partnered with 10 wastewater plants, along with three universities, BYU, Utah State, and the U. The initial data reveals that sewage can predict where COVID-19 cases are actually rising. This study starts with a liter of sewage taken from 10 wastewater sites across Utah. Scientists then analyze the water trying to find the genetic material that makes up the coronavirus. You can think of sewer water as basically an integrated sample of a city uh, because everybody's contributing to that water. Here's what the initial samples found. We'll use Hiram as an example. According to this chart from the DEQ, not much was found in its wastewater until late May. But look at May 27th on the far right. The virus detected in the sample increased 67 times over what was found a week earlier. Just a few days later, we get a surge of cases in the Bear River Health District, which includes Hiram. The blue line on this chart represents positive cases. There's the spike in early June. In essence, the sewer water predicted that spike. That's going to be the next step, right, is to figure out how to make this useful to public health officials. We've presented it to them this week, and um, a couple ideas have come up in our conversations. Um, one, the most obvious would be to use it to detect early um, rising infection levels in some parts of the state. Uh, we may be able to see that in the sewage. I mean, it looks like we did up in Cache Valley ahead of when you see it through clinical testing. And so that could help the state mobilize resources. And the study will expand in July to represent 75% of the state's population. The DEQ has a dashboard that shows all of their data. We'll link to that on our website. Live in the newsroom, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.